All right, guys, so another day of computer assembling. We just received the adapters for the PCI, two PCIe cards. The StarTech, I read some other people use those. Uh, the same model, same brand for the same purpose with the same cards actually. And also we got the RAM that we were missing. So RAM is installed. But yeah, as you know, the main problem is that the RME PCI cards are PCI and don't fit in the PCIe slots. So we're gonna open up these StarTech adapters. All right. So, the RME fits perfectly in the adapter. So, this first one, the ADAT, is the first RME card mounted. And as you can see, if I can focus, yeah, of course, it's too high. So, this ADAT port is covered by this and that connector which would be the same and this one is like up here and now I don't know what to do really I'm debating if just changing cards because now I have to basically cut the um, case which I'm not a fan of. Let me think about it. I reinstalled, reassembled and reinstalled the old computer. Because I can't afford downtime. And the new computer here is empty again. Reason why, once I received my um, adapters for the RME cards, we saw that they didn't fit because they sat too high. So at first my, my thought was, all right, don't be cheap. Um, these are somehow old cards and just buy new cards. Um, I was about to buy the RME Raydot. It pissed me off to begin with because the 9652 works perfectly they give me 48 channels from the SSL input and output with ADAT they were working perfectly never had any hiccups or, or anything they were just perfect driver are perfect so it pissed me off the the whole idea of having to change cards that were working fine but you know somehow I, I felt like I was being cheap this is my job I want to invest and everything so I took a look at the RME Raydot and um, they are about 600 each one would give me only uh, 32 channels which is too little for me um, I have 48 now which is exactly how many channels I have on the SSL over there two would be double the expense and they will give me 64 which it's too much so I was thinking all right for now let's buy one and I'll make 32 channels work but then I took a look at the radar up close and they don't even have the war clock and that would have been another hundred bucks on top of the card so that brings me to 700 bucks, 700 bucks to have basically even less than what I have right now in that computer. And that pissed me off like too much. This forced consumism, I, I can't stand it. And I'm all for upgrading stuff, especially when my job is concerned if it gives me something more you know but this was just paying almost a thousand on top of the new computer 
to basically give me even less than what I have now because I would end up with 32 channels. And for what? It wasn't an upgrade. It's still ADAT. I'm still using the same protocol. So it's not that, that there's audio benefits or quality benefits in doing that. So I said, you know what? Fuck off. And all of this because of what? Because in the end, the cards don't fit the case. And I didn't want at first to mess with the case because it's a brand new case. It's nothing special. But, you know, when you have a brand new thing, doesn't have a scratch, kind of, you feel like kind of you should leave it like that. But this is, I cannot justify 700 bucks for one card that gives me the same protocol just because... Oh, oh, that on top of the um, adapters, which were another 50 bucks. I can't justify that. And, and just because they don't fit here. And so I said, yeah, fuck you very much. And what we are going to do is I'm going to cut the case and I'm going to make space for those cards. Worst case scenario, what is going to be? That I have to buy another case? Well, you know what? If I have to spend 700 bucks, another case, it's the last of my problems. So, yeah, this is my rant. And um, we are going to cut the case, drill it, cut the holes here, remove the bar when where we need, and we'll take it from there. So stay tuned, either we are going to make this work or buy a new case and new cards. All right, guys, so as you can see from my master work, I tried to cover all the parts with this plastic sheet and just to try to avoid the powder from the drilling to go all over the place. Although the computer is empty, you know, there's still the processor and... I covered the ports and everything so now I'm gonna take the drill and we are gonna cut this motherfucker up so here's the drill you can see it and uh, I might have to move the camera a bit but uh, yeah let me move the camera that's not in the way I want you guys to see this, but I also don't want to fuck this thing up. It's actually cleaner than I thought. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna polish it a little bit, but yeah. Uh... One down. I don't know how many other to go, but it seems to work. I'll keep you updated. All right, so I hope it doesn't burn my finger, but yeah, is is the other piece. And, yeah, that's another fuck you to not fitting. I have <laughs> no idea if this will actually work, to be honest, guys. But um, we'll see when the cards are on. Oh, actually, let me try something. What I have here is the adapter. And... What is the other piece? This, which gives me the height of the card. So if I put it up here, I can see we should be about there. And um, yeah, I hope so. And maybe we are a bit tight. Well, the ADAT port, which is what interests me, really, is free and open and accessible. This will figure it out. 
and then there's the SPDIF which connector which is here this part doesn't concern me we are, we are fine here is this this is now pretty loose but what I'm gonna do is of course I'm gonna glue or somehow secure the card to this frame here and then the other side somehow whether it's silicone whether it, whatever the fuck is gonna be I can't deadly 500 pounds I can secure a piece of metal on a, on a on a PC case but at least I try another piece removed and this second aided port is gonna be free now the upper part again for the speed of connector and to make it fit then we should be done Guys, I have no idea how this will turn out. But yeah, I said I would make space and I made space. All right guys, so we did it. As you can see, the case is cut. We should have enough space for the cards to fit. At least I hope so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use tomorrow one of these to smooth out the angles just to avoid to cut myself while trying to mount the cards and you know peace of mind but in the meantime i gotta finish a mix so yeah this is what we do on mix bus tv mixing records and kicking ass all right guys keep you posted